we know, the buildings we live and work in, the vehicles and even the infrastructure that all of us use to get here this morning are all manufactured from steel. Eh? And we also know that the market is embracing the need for decarbonization. Steel is not only central to how we live today, but it is also pivotal for the future. It is a critical ingredient and enabler for the energy transition across all renewable power infrastructure and electric vehicles. Kumba's greater share of lamp and high quality FE positions us well for this development. Still demand is expected to increase in the global shift towards renewable energy. Still intensity in renewable power infrastructure is 10 to 30 times more than that of fossil-based fossil power infrastructure. In an effort to decarbonize the steelmaking process, mills are investing more in DRI. There is a healthy pipeline of DRI projects coming on board in the next 30 years. And the share of DRI in global steel production is expected to almost triple to 26% by 2050. This will drive demand for high quality ore as it offers higher productivity and has lower energy requirements. In fact, as we know, for every 1% increase in FE, one will see a decrease of circa 2 to 3% in carbon emissions. Kumba is well positioned as a leading provider of high quality, high lamp iron ore. Our FE quality and lamp to fines ratio remains high relative to our peers, but more importantly, Kumba continues to focus on premium products. The implementation of the UHDMS plant at Sishen will approximately double the volume of premium lamp and further improve the quality of our product portfolio. In the past four and a half years, we've paid over 70 billion rand in base dividends and 16.6 billion rand in top-up dividends. Despite the cyclical nature of our business, the operational and macro challenges and market volatility over the past few years, we've provided consistent returns to our shareholders. During the same period, we've returned just over 100% of free cash flow and on average, more than 90% of headline earnings to our shareholders. This underscores the operational and financial resilience of our business. We remain committed to maintaining a balance between investing to sustain and grow our business while returning excess cash to shareholders. This brings me to decarbonization, which is clearly a global priority given the increasing evidence of global warming. We remain focused on our carbon footprint Decarbonizing our operations is an imperative if we are to have a more sustainable future. As part of our decarbonization pathway, we are targeting a 30% reduction in scope one and two greenhouse gas emissions by 2030 and achieving carbon neutrality by 2040. Diesel makes up 80% of our scope one energy requirements, but only contributes just over 50% of our actual scope one emissions. While electricity represents 20% of our energy requirements and contributes just under 50% of our scope two emissions. This represents significant opportunity to achieve our 30% target through our scope two emission reduction projects. As a result, we are prioritizing our participation in the broader Anglo-American group's regional renewable energy strategy. This includes the plan to develop a 65 megawatt solar plant at Sishen by 2025, as well as wild wind and storage by 2030, which offers us a pathway to zero scope two emissions. Environmental studies on our solar PV plant are underway and we have also commenced with the studies to supply 10 to 15 megawatts of renewable energy at Golomela as well. In terms of scope one, our current focus is on track efficiency and optimization initiatives to reduce our diesel usage. 
We are also excited about the potential benefits of the hydrogen powered truck currently being piloted at Anglo American Platinum. Regarding scope three, the decarbonization of the steel industry will be key as the steel making value chain indirectly generates our carbon emissions. Through Anglo American marketing, we are partnering with our customers to help lower their scope three emissions by using our high quality iron ore products. We established our partnership with Sol Skita last year, and we recently announced our partnership with Nippon Steel as well. <laughs>